Hi, in this series of videos, we're going to be creating a physical database design. Now, a physical database design, we're going to be adding more details than we've had on our previous designs. And at this point, we need to choose the actual database management system that we're going to use. In the previous designs, this was specifically left undecided so that both conceptual database designs and logical database designs are really uh, aren't related to any specific database management system, but can really be a design that include any that could be used by any of them. It, there are several database management systems you can choose from, SQL Server, Oracle, MySQL, MongoDB, etc. We're going to use SQL Server. We want to start with a logical database design, and that beginning logical database design is provided for you. And you'll use the entities and the relationships, all the multiplicities and um, attributes that are listed here. Use the same names uh, and all the details that are already listed on this one that's provided for you. We are going to keep it in class diagram style. That means the entities are in table shapes and we're going to be using connecting lines with crow's feet notation on both ends. Attributes are listed uh, one per line in the table shapes. One of the things we're going to do is we're going to change some of the terminology. So instead of using entities, we're going to use tables. And this is just the transition to, that we're making as we get closer and closer to the actual database, we're going to start using database terms. And so entities, we'll call the, start calling those tables. Attributes, we'll start referring to those as columns or fields. Naming conventions, so this is the first we've introduced naming conventions. So you want to start using these policies. SQL keywords are in all caps. This is widely used uh, naming convention. As far as variables, uh, there's you know, table names, column names, etc. There are a variety of different ways that are common. There's not one single standard one. So you can choose between camel case, Pascal case, underscore, any of those types that you would like to use, but choose one and then be consistent in how you, how you use those. So as long as you're consistent, you can pick whichever variety you want. The only one you don't want to do is you don't want to use all caps because that will confuse it then with the SQL keywords. There are several steps in this process, and we'll go through them one each individually at a time, and we'll do them in order. So steps one through 10, and we'll just do them one at a time. To, there are a lot of details we wanna keep track of, and so to do that, I've created a template that has a column for each of the, each of the individual steps and the decisions that we're going to make, and we, so we can make the decisions on this template. 